Hello friends, I am Miss Karen at Adams Memorial Library. Welcome to our third Inquire Within program for the summer, Bake a Tale. Now, we've talked before about how you can tell, tell your tale, share your tale, the story of you through dance or through music or your artwork. But did you know you could also share your tale through food, through baking? Did you know? I think you can anyway. Everybody's family has special foods that they like or favorite foods. And if you share the story of your family's favorite foods, then you can share stories about your family too. So we have a kit for you this time that has some recipes in from different PBS Kids characters. And you can try them at home and then you can share them. We also at the library have a book called Fairy Tale Feasts. It's a literary cookbook for young readers and eaters. And the fairy tales in this story are retold by Jane Yolen, who's written hundreds of books for young readers, and her daughter, whose name is Heidi E.Y. Stemple. She did the recipes. So that's another way you can share your story, share a baking tale. You can think about your favorite stories and then try to find a recipe that goes with them. For example, in this book is the story of Snow White. And if you know the story of Snow White, you might remember there's an apple in the story. So the recipe that goes with it is Snow White's Baked Apples. So you can find a story to, and a t recipe to go with it and share your tale that way. You can check this book out at the library. Or you can try making one of the recipes that's in the kits, but you have to promise me, friends, promise, 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 promise me that you will only bake with an adult because the recipes require the oven, maybe knives, something that'll be best to do together as a family. So, good, we good, you promise that? Okay, then here are some things that you can try to make. If you haven't found the perfect banana bread recipe, you could try Mom Tiger's banana bread. Daniel and Mom Tiger can make banana bread together. That would be yummy. Or if you feel like some cookies. Again, from Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Daniel and Jody are making Mosey Amazing Cookie, Mosey Amazing Cookies with Nana Platypus. That would be very yummy. Or if someday you wake up and you're just like kind of kind of mad or you just have a lot of energy, you just have to get out. Well, then maybe that would be a day to make <laughs> get the mad out cookies because you can just pound and pound and pound the dough. And the more you mix it together by pounding on it, the better the cookies will be. So you can get out all your frustrations on the dough and then bake the cookies and have yummy cookies to enjoy afterwards. So that would be something else you could try. Or if you wanted to make little cakes, you could do these Peg Plus Cat honey cakes and you could even practice math too. So you could bake and do math at the same time if you wanted. And can you see there's you could put numbers on, put plus sign or minus sign. You could take those, put the blueberries on top and then you could eat them off, eat them off the cakes, do subtraction that way as the berries disappear, however you'd like. But I had some recipes that I did make this time with the recipe cards from the kits to share with you, like Molly of Denali spiced oatmeal muffins. And you remember the book that I was showing you, The Fairy Tale Feasts? Well, at the start of this book, it has an epigraph that says, a story is not beautiful until something is added to it. Jane Yolen says it's a Tuscan proverb. And I think that's true for a recipe too. It gets even more beautiful if you add something that's special to you to it. So the first time I did a recipe like this, or if I do a recipe in general, the first time I, I do whatever the recipe says, and then I think, you know, maybe I would like it if I put this in instead. So for these muffins, these ones I made just using the recipe, but then I thought, hmm, you know, I would like to share muffin with Miss Mary. And I know Miss Mary likes raisins. So second time I made the muffins, I put in some raisins. So I could share those muffins with Miss Mary. 
And then I also added in some dried cranberries and some more spices because I thought Miss Mary would like those too. And I shared them with her and she did. So you can change the recipe up to make it more special, put in something that you do like, take out something that you don't like, and you can tell your story that way. The story of how Miss Mary and I like raisins in our muffins. Now, you could also say to me, you know what, Miss Karen, it's August and it's a little hot to bake. It's a little hot to turn on the oven. And to that, I would say, that's a good point. That's true. Maybe you would like to share these recipes for later when it gets a little cooler. But in the meantime, there is a recipe in the kit from Dragon Train that you don't require, doesn't require baking. There are no bake edible nests. All you have to do is melt some chocolate in the microwave, mix it with some cereal, add some little candy egg, whoops, you can't see it, add some little candy eggs to it, and you've got your edible nests. So you can use cereal, you could do chow mein noodles. I tried, tried this one twice too, and the first time I did flake cereal, you kind of broke it up, and use that to mix with chocolate. And the second time I used cereals that had more like, little stick pieces in it, looked more like twigs. And I thought that one looked a little bit more like a nest. But you can try whatever kind of cereal you like, mix it with some chocolate, find some candied eggs, do it that way. And you don't even have to heat up your kitchen. And you can still have a sweet treat and share it. One thing that's important about these though, I made these in a little muffin tin and I did put some cooking spray in, but not enough. So friends, if you're gonna make it, you either should probably use a lot of cooking spray on the muffin tin or put little papers in to do it that way. Cause I kinda had to chisel them out of the pan, but they came out and they still taste good. So that's just my little word of advice there. Now, if you wanted to share your treats with somebody else, like I wanted to share mine with Miss Mary and you wanted to make it extra special, you could put them in a Mr. Rogers sweater bag. You see, got a muffin right inside. So in your kit, there will be a template that you can trace onto the red paper that will be in the kit. So you trace it into a sweater shape, then you can decorate it, cut the sweater out of the red paper, and then you wanna cut it in half, cut it right in half because you're going to put half on either side of this bag. You have one of the bags in, take some tape, roll it up, put it down the side of the bag, and then tape one half on either side, one half of the sweater on either side, and then you can kind of fold it up a little. And then the, the zipper on the bag, the slider on the bag will be the zipper on Mr. Rogers sweater. And you can give this to somebody to, to share your treats. Fill it up with yummy treats and give it to families or your friends and share that way. Another nice thing to do to share your tale is to share a recipe. Lots of families have recipes that are special to them. Maybe something you make for a holiday or for a birthday, or maybe it's just a, uh, something that you like to make all the time. Now, when I was growing up, every Thursday we had spaghetti. So I could write a spaghetti sauce recipe on a card like this and send it to my brother to make sure he has the recipe too. And we can both keep making our spaghetti sauce or muffins or chocolate nests, whatever we want. So there'll be a Luna, let's go Luna recipe card in your bag too. If you need any more, just let us know at the library and we'll make more for you so you can share your tale that way. Share your, share your food tale, your baking tale with all your family and friends that way too. So thank you very much for watching today. And thank you to our friends at WQED Education and Clearview Federal Credit Union for allowing us to share these programs with you. If you are doing our summer reading program and recording in Beanstack, the code word for the Inquire Within program is Molly like we made Molly of Denali's Spiced Oatmeal Muffins. Code word is Molly, M-O-L-L-Y. And thank you very much for watching. 
Make sure you come to the library to pick up your Vega Tail kit. You can come down to the children's room now. The children's room is open, so come on down to the children's room and pick up your bag there or call and we'll reserve it for you. You can still pick it up through curbside pickup. So thank you very much, friends. Be sure to watch for our Inquire Within programs throughout the year. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.